Yo, shalom. All praise to the Mosa. Yeho, Yeho, Shua. This is sounds from YYBY. So, I want to talk about the, the uh, reasons spectrum EQ, man. And I hope this can help people, enlighten people, and inspire people from uh, well, I'm about to take this at. Um, I, I, well, I read a lot of forums, and I know there's a lot of people, you know, they, they, they gripe or they complain about, you know, the spectrum EQ and reasons. And reason um console is not you know good enough or you know more options and stuff like that and I get it you know because we got a lot of EQs out here that that bring that to the table <clears throat> but y'all gotta understand that the analogy of what they're trying to show you and again a lot of people who did music on the count consoles back in the day who use SL consoles and and um and you know the analog stuff they'll understand this more Again, the young people, uh, you put this, you you put this, you know, add this to your your artillery, then you you'll be on, you know, you'll be, you know, you it'll take you to another level compared to the stuff that you already know to this day, you know, the technology and everything, which is great. This spectrum EQ was designed to just be do simple things, to get straight to the point, as you recording. Or you mixing. It, it's just that simple. Like if you if you look at a console in in, in the studio today, it, it has the you know let's close this right quick. It has the you know it, when it when you go to the EQ, it look just like this on the SL console, and it got the the regular basic you know high lows frequencies boom boom boom, you know just like when you buy the uh, when you use the Wave Spectrum EQ uh, the SL console thing, it, it's simple straight to the point. Right. So when you're using this, it's made to just roll things all clean things up real quick. See, they know in the mixing process, you're going to end up using another EQ anyway. That's why in the analog days, they use the EQ on the console, but they still have the racks. They have rack EQs like Poltex and, and different many other EQs and everything. Right. So what they did on this EQ right here, they say, OK, well, we're going to keep it simple, but. We're just going to give it a spectrum, you know, they still get, don't get me wrong. They still can upgrade and add more stuff to it. But what I'm saying is that I just want to help you understand that you still can use this and understand the purpose of it without feeling that you no know, reason is not giving you certain options, even though they need certain options. Don't get me wrong. But this is made to clean things up real quick. Roll the highs or roll the lows off. Boost something real quick, boom, boom, you know, stuff like that. And then later on in your mix, then that's when you go use your other EQs. They know that you like to use third party plugins. Okay, you got your own EQ on the track or, or you know, you know, because in reason, they only got what the master the master class EQ, uh, which is, you know, straight to the point for mastering. And they got the, the other, you know, this right here, the master compressor EQ, which has a, a, a mix knob. So. More of an analog vibe. Now, if you want to use an EQ with more more options and everything, then you know, go buy your you know, use a, a third party or go buy you a, a EQ from you know from rack extensions. I say rack extensions because they'll function better, they'll function more, they'll function better, CPU less intensive, you know, because it's designed, they, they got that website to build so it can be more compatible with reason. Okay. So but the EQ on here is made again, is made to do simple things, to clean things up real quick, roll the lows off, roll the highs off, roll the lows off, you know, the basic stuff of, of getting something done, you know, boost something up or cut something real quick, not to go in so much detail and, you know, to get your track halfway there where it's sounding already decent, you know, uh, and, and you know, nothing to think about because again, if you go to the reg regular, the real SL console, it's the same approach. It's the same approach. They know that end of the day that you're going to end up using another EQ. And a lot of times when we're mixing, we clean things up, boom. And then after that, then we add, you know, we, we, we get another EQ and add the color on it. Okay. We add the color on it. You know, a lot of the time that's, you know, that's, that's, that makes sense. Same times, even with compressors. Sometimes we use more than one compressor. You feel me? We, we use more than one compressor to control because every compressor has a different approach to audio files to wave and to, to vocals and instruments and everything. So, so again, this EQ 
It's not the made. It's not made. And if you just keep it, if you just use it in that simple form, you'll understand. You know, you you just cleaning things up. It just made to clean things up. You know, boost a little bit, not to go in so much detail and 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 and, and you know, like you know, like especially like the EQ, uh, what they call it. Um, it's a popular EQ that everybody EQ that everybody loves, man. I forgot the name of it, but um, but it's it's made by a third party company. But the point is that. It's, it's simplified. It's simple. Straight to the point. You know, go to each track. You know, press F2. Go to the next track. Boom, boom, boom. Next track, you know, and, and, and do what you do. Hell, you can just click right here and just go to each track. If you got a mouse, I think you can roll it. If I'm correct, now you can't roll it. But, you know, you go to each track. And, you, and you're doing things as you're recording, as you're mixing. And, and, and it's just a straight simplified idea you know that you know to help get the job done because at the end of the day less is a lot you know less is a lot and a lot of the time these samples and the, all these things are already they already sound good they already been compressed and and you know that's why they call samples cuz they already did everything to the, that file you just have to tweak it up a certain way to make it blend in with the other instruments that you already have and with vocals we already know the approach of vocals you know uh you got to you got to tame those frequencies so the first step is to clean things up again, you know, and this is made to clean things up. It's not it's not it's not it's not that deep, you know. So when you look at it from that perspective, you understand how straight to the point this is supposed to be. And on top of that, when you use it, you can really hear the difference. I can really hear like some EQs you raise the highs up, you don't really you hear like a, a subtle difference. This EQ really, when you cut and boost and whatever, you can really hear the difference. It really make it stand out. It really affects that audio file. And I like the process of so they when they designed it, the quality of it is pretty good. You know, I get it's vague, you know, it's small and you not small, but you know, see through is it's it look like it don't really do nothing, but that's the point. Less is a lot. So if you approach it that way, people, I guarantee you you'll love it more because you're going to be, you you, you you will use another EQ anyway. When you start mixing and you start going to these tracks right here and you start adding your, you know, your own effects and everything, dropping them in here, you, you about to do your extra touches. Boom, you straight. Multi bands, you know, and other EQs, another spectrum EQ, such and such, and you know, to get the job done. So that's all I want to explain to y'all is that it's just straight to the point. It's straight to the point. That's it. If you have any question or you disagree, please explain on uh, a respectful way. Um, this is YYBY. Peace.